everyone, it's Dr. Russell. So as of this recording, we are officially in December. That means the holidays are coming up pretty quick in the next couple weeks. So today I wanted to show you a natural gift that you can make at home that's really simple, only a few ingredients, and it'll be ready by the time the holidays come around. So we're gonna make an herb infused honey. It not only tastes delicious, but it actually makes a really pretty presentation the way I'm gonna show you. Um, so it's kind of like two for one and that it's really medicinal and, and yummy, but it also looks really nice. So it only takes a few ingredients. You might have most of these things at home already. Um, so all you need is some kind of container to let it sit in. So a mason jar works really well. And then you need the herbs themselves. So today I'm just gonna make more of a relaxing herb infused honey. So I'm gonna use some um, lavender. For the way I'm gonna show you, um, dried herbs are gonna be better because we are gonna let it sit for a while. If you use fresh herbs and it sits for a few weeks, it might start growing things and fermenting. So go with dried herbs for this purpose. Um, you could also use any other flavorful or um, aromatic herbs like thyme. You could do even something spicy like ginger. Um, you could do chamomile. You can pick any kind of your favorite combination of herbs, that's fine. And then um, we're gonna do some honey. So I kind of, um, I didn't heat it up too much. I just warmed it a little bit cause it is getting cold out. So I want it to move a little bit better. And then the last thing that you need, not for today's purposes, but for the end is kind of a mesh strainer. So something that um, has a little bit of a bigger strain just so you can get the herbs out, but you're not, um, it's not so small that the honey's not being able to come through. So that's it, that's all you need. So to start, all I'm gonna do is pour into my, um, my uh, mason jar is the herbs. So um, we're doing about a half cup, this is a much smaller mason jar, but um, about a half cup to two cups of honey. So a, a one to four ratio is ideal. So I'm just gonna me measure that in there. Oop. Okay, that looks pretty good. And this isn't like baking, so you know, it doesn't have to be exact. So if you do it close enough, um, so you can see I've got my herbs in there. And then now I'm gonna pour the honey in. And obviously, even though it's a little bit warm, it's still a slow process. Um, the other option, if you know, you're watching this and um, the holiday is like tomorrow or in a couple days and you don't have a couple weeks for this to sit, you can actually um, do this over the stove and just warm um, it up very slowly because you don't want to burn the honey. Um, but you would do the same process. You want to pour your herbs in first and then pour the honey over it. And then just let that heat till it slightly bubbles and then just kind of bring it on and off the heat throughout the day. And then all you'll do is just um, test it and kind of taste it and see when it gets to the point where it has a nice herb infused flavor. So that looks, I won't, keep pouring because I can pour forever. So I'll do that later off the video and get the rest of it in. You can see I've got the honey kind of slowly dripping in there. And what's gonna happen, because honey is very slow and very thick, um, over the next day or two, you notice that more of it's gonna settle and get into the cracks. Um, so if you have a fork or even chopsticks or something you can use to kind of at, uh, get more of the honey down below, but over time gravity is just gonna do that. So, so that's something we just observe and you might need to add more honey, which is fine. Um, so all I'm gonna do is put the lid on, now that I got my honey in there, and then I just let it sit in a window and just <laughs> let it sit for a few weeks and that's pretty much it. Um, every day you do wanna flip it. So tomorrow I would flip it this way and then the next day I would flip it back. Um, so that way you're kind of, typically when we make tinctures or things like that, you would shake it up and kind of mix it. Honey doesn't really shake too well. Um, so all we're gonna do is just kind of pour it back and forth. Um, I personally think it kind of makes a really cool gift like this because you can see the herbs in it, which is always really pretty. And then all you would do is put a label, you know, lavender infused honey, and then have really brief instructions on what to do next. So all they would do after a few weeks you know, you would taste a little bit to see if it's got enough of that herb infused flavor in it. 
and then have a different container you're gonna pour it into and then just pour it out over the strainer. Um, it is a little bit of a slow process, um, but you know, that's something that um, if you warm it up just a little bit, you don't wanna heat it too much, that can make it go a little bit faster. Um, and then if you want, you can take those leftover herbs that you would have in the strainer, add a bunch of water and make it a really sweet tea with the herbs so you're not wasting all of that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you wanted to speed this up, you could do it over the heat, but this is kind of a nice, fun, let nature take its course. Um, if you were gonna use fresh herbs, I would probably heat it up just so you're doing it faster. You're not letting things sit there and kind of getting gross and all that good stuff. So let me know um, how this goes for you, what herb combos you're gonna add, um, cause you can really mix and make your own. You could do, you know, thyme if you wanted like a respiratory one. That would be great with maybe a little ginger or something in there. Um, but it's really fun and easy to do. So and I hope you enjoyed that and you'll be adding more holiday gifts that you make to your repertoire.